Hey guys, it's Wilson. Uh, happy Monday. Um, I'm hoping this week's going to be a lot of fun. So this week we are going to focus on the creative side of the design process. Uh, last week I'm hoping you guys did a bunch of research. Um, a lot of what I see you guys came up with on the discussion looks good. Uh, lots of concerns about keeping squirrels out of the feeders. Um, I'll lose an entire uh, load of seed in a day if squirrels get to my feeder. So that is super important. Um, some talk about waterproofing and materials, some talk about making it attractive, not just for the birds, but um, for you and your family who have to see this thing hanging outside of your house. Uh, so I think you guys are all on the right track. So this week we're gonna take all that research and we're going to try to combine that knowledge together in a creative process and come up with some designs for your bird feeders. Now, if you guys look uh, either here on the PowerPoint or in the assignment on Canvas, I'm asking for 10 different sketches. Now, I'm pretty loose on what that means. That could be 10 completely different feeders, but I also want you to consider spending some time on just some individual components. So, if you're thinking about different ways the bird can access the seed, or um, thinking of different ways you can um, seal and refill the liquid on a, a hummingbird feeder, you can do a couple different designs of just one part of your feeder and uh, not be completely changing the whole design in each uh, sketch. So either way you do it, 10 different ideas. Could be complete sketches, uh, uh, excuse me, complete feeders, or it could be an individual component that you're working on, uh, or a combination of both. Uh, be thinking of all the problems you have to solve when you make these things. So um, the materials you're using, looking at playing with different pieces of recycled packaging uh, to combine it and to create different forms. Um, how are you going to handle the food? How are you going to keep it waterproof? Uh, how are you going to deal with mounting it or keeping unwanted animals from feeding? Um, and of course, how are you going to assemble these things? Don't forget, some of you guys are dealing with limited equipment. Um, if you have a wood shop at home, that's great. But if you're just dealing with stuff you can find in your kitchen, um, keep that in mind so that you're working within the capabilities that you have. Uh, okay, last two things I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, this week, I'm going to be contacting anybody who hasn't yet interacted with the course. So if you haven't interacted yet, shoot me an email and tell me how you're doing. Um, and uh, the Zoom meeting today, or this week, is going to be on Thursday, 2 o'clock as usual. And what I want to focus on is sharing ideas and uh, talking about some of the plans you have. So anybody who comes to that meeting... I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit and ask you to uh, show us what you're thinking on your sketches and your designs. Uh, if you are stumped and you have no idea what to do and you still want to participate in this project, uh, come to the Zoom meeting and you'll see some ideas. And uh, also, of course, if you have any questions, you're not sure if something's going to work or how to do something, uh, bring that question to the Zoom meeting and we can all help you out. All right, that's everything I have for you guys this week. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you. Take care, guys.